Oh. All right, good morning. It is Monday, new week has started. I hope everybody's having a good day, good weekend. First and foremost, everyone in Houston, I am so, so sorry if you're going through the bullshit. I know that it is crazy right now. I have a lot of friends in Houston. A lot of, we, you know, Houston's always showed mad, mad love to me. So um, really, really terrible, terrible shit going on in Houston. There's flooding, a lot of people are losing their homes, everything they've ever had. Uh, it's awful. So if you're in Houston, I'm. All I can really say is I'm really sorry. It really, really sucks. I wish there was something that I could do. Pretty sure like everybody, we all wish that we could just help. It's, it's pretty devastating. It looks crazy. A lot of people are affected. So uh, thoughts are with you guys in Houston and surrounding areas in Texas. I hope that everything uh, chills out very quickly and that everybody is safe. Get that out of the way because that is awful. Let's see what happened with me this weekend. This weekend, I pretty much spent time, you know, Saturday went to bait. Saturday was the bait drop. Today we got the black pair here. Can't see, black pair here. Uh, shout out to bait in Denver. Everybody at bait in Denver is awesome. Here, white shoe. So Saturday went to bait. Saturday we had the online drop. These sweatshirts and t-shirts. Pretty much everything is sold out. Uh, there might be a couple of t-shirts here and there left, maybe a sweatshirt or two, but you guys uh, pretty much clean that out. So, and the rest of the weekend I spent drawing. I have uh, a lot of projects that I'm working on and honestly, many things to draw that in the next month or so, I'll probably be drawing a lot more than I have had to. Um, little sneak peek, I guess. We could take a look. I have a new pack coming and these will be, theme is that you are your enemy. And then so we have a dragon that I'm working on. That's the dragon again. Let's see what we got here. We got this little snake. Can't see it. We got a snake. The roses. So, yeah. Busy weekend for me. I had to draw all three of those basically. I know some people think drawing doesn't take a long time, but. It does. The busy week, uh, I got some tattoos to do. I have a pair of, I bought a pair. There's this, um, what were they even calling it? I don't know what they were even calling it. It was like, there was a sample photo the other day. They said it looked like the Salmon Breeze Trace Pink, but it was a different colorway. I can't remember what it was called. Trace something, I'm sure. I went ahead and copped them because I wanted to see, they really did look close in the pictures to the Salmon Breeze. So I wanted to see how close they are and if they even have pink in them because I don't think they do. Pretty convinced it's a brown shoe, honestly. Wednesday, in-store drop, uh, the Ultra Boost Mid finally, the Khaki Mid is dropping. And then we've got the um, new silver, or gray, whatever you call it, Ultra Boost as well on Wednesday. So busy week for shoes. And I'm sure there's something else dropping too that I'm forgetting about, but yeah, busy week for shoes. We'll cop all that shit. Right now, waiting on Earn. We're gonna go, he's gonna get his weed license right now. I'm gonna wait on him. We're gonna go to the weed shop. Crazy. You ain't crazy. You ain't crazy. You ain't crazy. You ain't crazy. Oh, I've also got a stack of these collage prints that sold out to sign. So these sold out, I need to sign a number, all of them. There's 150 of them and you guys cleared them out. So they're coming. I need to get these signed this morning so I can get them down to the shop today and have your stuff mailed to you. I got my weed. Well, I, I have to print the card, so I can't cop yeah, today. Your baby face. Yeah, it's almost gone, dude. The beard is coming Not back. Really. You still look like a fucking rookie. Little Uzi Bird album, mediocre. That's pretty good. That's I pretty think it's pretty good, good too, but dude, you know what blew me away? What? That XXX Tentacion. I don't even know how to fucking say XXX it. XXX Tentacion. Dude. Yeah, it's pretty good. I saw that dude get punched in the face and then I saw him mm. get thrown into a barricade and I was like, who is this fucking yeah. clown? Like, I wasn't even gonna listen to his shit. Well, did you ever hear his first song? That's not on the album? His, like, single, that's a hit, right? Yeah, that's all, like, bricked out sonically. I, maybe not, then. 
This is a 30 second timer. Dude, I'm so bad at I lying. I had fucking dream about shoes last night. What about? I just remembered it too because I picked this up because this mesh cage is called something new. I was like reading about it and it's called like the M.O. D or something like the mesh optimized design some fucking weird yeah. shit. I'll look it up. Someone in my dream someone had Texted me or whatever like hey, do you want those MOD? Uh, EQTs and I was like yeah for sure because I was thinking it was that shoe. Yeah, and then when the shoe came It was like this like it was like boost and then the whole upper of the shoe was basically made of something like this oh, <laughs> like, shit. like it was like a silicone mesh and I was like what the fuck is this like shaped like a dress shoe <laughs> You know what I mean like the upper pretty Wildin' son. We went on a walk today. You have no reason to be this way. It's every day, bro. Oh wait, is it not this No. I mean why you don't get a t-shirt? No, it's just, I'm just waiting to probably put on a t-shirt. Maybe because I don't remember. <laughs> we'll see. We're it's done. We forgot the fucking shoes. <sighs> oh, you're my grocery delivery. Perfect. Yes. I was like, no, it's sorry. Right, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. I actually you. forgot that I ordered groceries. No. So. <laughs> oh, I got gypped on the fucking cucumber. Hey. What the fuck? Hey. That's you. Mm hmm. You can do it the whole time. I don't care. It stops, doesn't it? I think eventually it, yeah, does. it does. I've been rocking no seatbelts. Surprise, you rock no seatbelts as terrified as you are with me. I don't really think the seatbelt saves your life. Well, in some situations. Yeah, it's like 50 50 in my opinion. I mean, how many people are really like, they, I, know, I hear them all the time. You know, seat, if he would have been wearing a seatbelt, he died. How many times do you hear, well, <laughs> he would have died either way? He wouldn't, if he would have not had his seatbelt on, he would have lived. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You don't ever hear that statistic. And seatbelts also feel like we've had all these technological advancements in the world. Oh my God. And a seatbelt has pretty much stayed exactly the same. I see your girl. Dude. She's blazing. Dude, hiding. she looks like. Dude, she's got some. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not showing her that camera. That is scary. Sorry, she looks like the zombie. <laughs> she didn't have the zombie vibe. Yo, Knob Hill in. <laughs> Yo, we got you in here. Oh, all right. I'm just joking. Here's these measurements that we... Big measurements for private label. You get the fit right. Denver that well. I just know I can see the little lines in the street. Maybe I should just start driving. Is that what we need to do? No. We need, we need to put me on the insurance. I love driving. I'm gonna put me on the insurance. I'm gonna start driving. Did you and get then, your ski pass? And then you can critique. Ooh, I need to buy that today. So the uh, weed shop. You're not a member. Two of these, one of them is yours. This will go great with my tangy. Sour gummies. Cinderella 99 cross with the white. Flow. Oh shit. Flow. Half ounce of green crack. Staple. Remember how beautiful it looks. Hold on. It's beautiful. It the G Pack. Is that how they gave it to you? Yeah. No, I did this in the fucking lobby. I, while you weren't looking, I packed all this up. That's amazing. It uh, doesn't look that impressive, really. Uh, well, don't let the looks fool you. There's yours. Damn, my recycling business will be popping. Need more jars. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's smoke yours. So why would I take my keys out of your apartment? Nobody knows. But so I, you forgot your keys? I definitely don't have them. The tables are turned. Uh, See you in a few minutes. 
right. Star Wars new and exclusive products. Yeah, although it's 300. You get something a little bigger. Fifty dollars? Yeah. You really shouldn't put these next to each other. Get me needs. Go ahead and get that. Sixty-three. Oh shit. Thank you. All right. Cool. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. I might grab one of these. Uh oh. Back in the TV section. Just gotta check. <laughs> Don't forget you gotta get that ski pass though. Yeah. Look at ski pass. I need to watch TV. Yeah. Let's get out of section before I end up spinning. Mini segue or what? Oh my god. <laughs> Did we cop for you? Where are we get you this? Um, I just realized something. Um, unfortunately, because this is private property. Oh, we can't film? Oh, that's that's okay, we can stop running. Kicked out of Best Buy. Which is not really. No filming in Best Buy, it was private property. We knew it was private property when we went in, motherfucker. We didn't care. Yeah. We out here renegading. Yeah. We don't care about your fucking rules, son. There's Mad Max up in this bitch. Out here just buying printers and paper and speakers and a new mouse pad. And a monster. And a motherfucking energy drink that I shouldn't be drinking. I'm tired. So tired. Tired because we got that crappy bud. Yeah. Buy an ounce of weed because Hedy's told us to. She don't even get high. But I also have my new theory that I don't stay high because you fucking blow my high. As soon as we get in the car, you almost kill us. Today. No, you haven't. As soon as we went off live stream on Instagram, Ernie almost pulled onto the highway going the wrong direction. The highway. You're trying to call Hetty right now so I can roast this weed, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I can't deal with this. This dude is the worst <laughs> driver ever. And I can't remember to fucking charge the fucking Goddamn GoPro, nor do I want to edit the GoPro footage because it's a pain in the ass, but... Oh my. I think you make me tense there. I'm nervous. I I'm make you tense. You're fucking, you got, speaking of points, your fucking license probably got more points than a goddamn basketball game. It has none. There's no way. I have a flawless license. Well, then the law enforcement needs to refocus their motherfucking objectives because if there's more like you, then we need to end the war on drugs and begin the war on fucking traffic. Because <laughs> you motherfuckers are out here killing me. Uh, I think we need flying cars. I think we're like automated cars and flying cars. No human being should be operating a vehicle, in my opinion. I think it's coming. Yeah, we need it. I want driving to be outlawed. Yeah, we need to get a Tesla. I need it outlawed. Instead of that printer. Could have bought a Tesla. Yeah. A $60 Tesla. All right, I'm gonna stop filming. If I don't turn this back on, it's because we died shortly after this. I'll edit the footage. Yeah, Ern will edit, because he'll live, I'm sure. <laughs> ah, all right, so. Shoes. Today we're going to talk about the bait pack that just came out. Two EQTs. They came out on Saturday via bait. It will be coming out in the rest of the world. The microphone plugged in. Uh, they'll be coming out in the rest of the world on the second. Uh, but this is what the box looks like. Regular box. Some people are asking if it came in a special box or if the pack did. It did not. Uh, extra black laces with the EQT 9317 Future. And this is what the shoe looks like. So this is the shoe, boom. I've been wearing these pretty hard since Saturday, so they might be a little dirty. Definitely dirty on the bottoms. All right, so we got an EQT 9317 Future. Um, obviously, it's the massive amount of boost. The yacht boost on this one, you'll be very comfortable walking around. Regular EQT sole, mine is dirty. And then the big changes here are the upper. So upper on this is PK. A lot of people are asking if it was mesh. It is definitely prime knit and it has even been boasted to have 35% more prime knit or 30%, I can't remember, but some sort of percentage more prime knit than other EQTs. And I imagine that's because it's not paneled out. Other EQTs have panels on them. Like you can kind of see the toe box is like paneled out, panels, panels, panels. All the way up the shoe, it's all PK. It's really comfortable, it's super stretchy. Uh, and then it's like kind of double layered, but it's not thick. I thought it was gonna be uh, super thick and really not that comfortable once I saw that the, the white or the 3M underneath was a you know another layer of knitting, but it's really, really comfortable. It's actually, I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe the most comfortable EQT yet because the PK on this is super, super sick. Uh, the ankle collar is another big thing. No more burrito tongue for this one. Uh, even though the burrito tongue is something I like about EQ, 
CQTs. This just feels better on foot, just to be honest. But that's also the development side. So the pack is called Research and Development. Black shoe is the development shoe. So that's why it's a little different and it's got cues from different models, such as the Ultra Boost type ankle collar and tongue. Um, 3M laces on this one and then the 3M pattern underneath the shoe as well as there's some 3M speckling throughout the shoe. The pattern on the shoe is supposed to represent the patterns of your bones in your feet. Some people think when I say pattern, I mean diagram. I don't, it's not supposed to look straight on, but it is the same pattern that your feet make. And then this cage, there's this new cage on here. I can't, I want to get it right. I don't remember what they call it. MOD, Me, it's called MOD cage, mesh optimized dynamic. Specifically designed for each model's support and comfort, the MOD cage enhances the shoe's stability while keeping the upper flexible, breathable, and the lacing system quick to use. Okay, and I can agree, like these cages are nice and flexy. The upper is just super comfortable. It stretches out. It's just, it's nice. It flexes with your foot really, really well. And then like I said, these panels are obviously mesh given they have an acronym with an M in it and it says mesh. And then the lacing system kind of runs through it, which is super cool, little red hints. Kind of makes the shoe not just a black and white upper and super sick. I like it. I really like this shoe. I think the 9317 is sick. If I had to give it any improvement, oh, bait on the laces, as well as Adidas on the other side. Um, if I had to give it any improvement, I would say a leather cage would have been nice here on the cup area around the back. And the only reason that even gave me that idea is because the ortholite insole is also leather. So you would think that they would have just made that part leather, but they didn't, so. But that'd have been my only nitpick if I'm nitpicking. Uh, support Dubray on this one, EQT Dubray on the other. Mine's flipped for some reason. I think it just got put on backward. Bait, consortium hole punch, trefoil, consortium hole punch. That's the shoe, that's the Bait EQT 9317 Future. They're definitely a must cop for me. I actually have another pair of these on the way because I like them so much. I would say go your true to size on this. It's a little less narrow in the toe box than the EQTs that we're used to. I think true to size is probably perfect. That's about it. So EQT 9317, there you have it. 3M Reflective. shoe we have is the EQT support 90 EQT support 9316 I don't know if we're focusing so this is the out of the pack this is the research to side of the pack which all white sterile lab coat steez is the idea you know research blank canvas doing your research this is the slept on pair of the pack. People don't like it as much. Um, I'm always, you know, when people say that about any white shoe, I just kind of chalk it up to it being a white shoe because not everybody wants to wear a white shoe. I honestly never bought white shoes until I started like, until I got older and like could really afford to collect shoes and get shoes. But yeah, this is the shoe. This thing is super sick for an all white shoe. I don't think you could really go wrong. So you have an all white EQT style upper. Uh, we have other EQT 9316s. So this is the other 9316 that I have, or one of them, and this is the new one. The biggest thing you're gonna notice is the paneling differences. So they take it off this lace panel, it's been replaced with the MOD one. Uh, the three stripes on the side 
are now this also mesh, the MOD cage. So that's the big difference. Um, and then the PK, this PK is really, really nice. It's again, double layered for the glow effect. The glow effect again is the bones in your feet pattern. One thing about this shoe I will say, other EQTs that I have like this, like this one, are kind of flimsy, they're not very supportive. This mesh, actually does make for a more supportive system. It's noticeable. This kind of feels like a loosened up uncaged ultra boost to me. It feels really good. Again, all white so not everybody can rock it. It's gonna get dirty quick. And then the main feature of this shoe is that it does glow in the dark. Seems to glow really well. PK ankle collar, very, very comfortable. The whole shoe is just super light. Not heavy at all on your feet. It's a light summer shoe. This is a nice shoe. And again, like if you're gonna get a triple white shoe, it might as well glow in the dark, I guess, if you're into it. Um, PK toe box and you can kind of see the pattern differences of the bones even when it's not being shined and then the MOD cage again and then we have white and gray laces with the same branding it also came with plain white laces as well and then of course boost and then a white continental uh, sole again these two also and then also the leather insole consortium insole hole punch trefoil and then of course as you guess it hole punch bait Yep, these are super sick. I don't know why people are sleeping on these really, really hard. I know a lot of people went for the blacks and like left the whites. A lot of people want to wrap. Um, so people are sleeping on these. And again, I give you the reasons why, but if you're into white shoes, these are definitely um, one for me. I think they're super, super sick. The new mesh design, the lacing system, the glow in the dark. I mean, they're just, they're great. So perfect shoe, perfect packed. I'm into both. These are the EQT, the new Bait EQTs. Shout out everybody to Bait for letting a brother get some shoes. And that's it. We will see you tomorrow. Peace.